Yo, 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 yo. What's happening? What's going on, man? It's Sunday. You already know what today is, man. I got my peoples in here with me, man. Rashida's in the building. I got my dog Moffitt in the building. What's yo, up? Welcome yo. to Trap Talk. Trap Talk. Trap Talk. Let's go. What's going on? Hype? Shit, man. Rough, rough day. That's all I'm going to say. Rough it has day. It's been a rough day. It's going to be all right. Hey, it's, it's your it way. is. It's always going to be all right. It always is gonna be alright. It sound like yeah, church. Uh, you sound like a damn preacher when you said that right there. Oh, right. Man, shout out to everybody who's in the building with us right now, man. It's a little chilly where I'm from, man. If you ain't from where I'm from, don't even worry about it. We'll talk about it later on, man. I'm just playing. Shout out to the Ville, man. Louisville in the building. Shout out to everybody who's uh, at home chilling, cooking, eating. Drinking whatever the hell you doing right now. Thank you for joining us right now, man. What's up, man? Where's the energy at? Y'all, 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 y'all stuck. What's up? What's going you know, on? I'm trying to see us here. I'm trying to get everybody to watch the show, man. <laughs> Tune in. Make sure you share this. That's share it live. Three seconds to share this. Hey, share it live. I know all y'all been partying all weekend in, in the club. Got the day party right now. So if you bored right now, you you want to look busy. Derek, what's sure happening, Montez? What's happening? What's happening? We in the building, man. We already in action, man. So we got a lot to talk about. As you can see in the title, man, we gonna talk about it. Tupac alive. Now I know y'all sitting there like, I know this nigga didn't like. We ain't great talk about this shit. Yeah, we are. We great talk about if Tupac is alive, man. I gotta, I gotta, man. I gotta go in my history on my YouTube, dog. But at the end of the day, I got a uh, this damn documentary I watched, y'all. And it was like, it was the craziest shit I ever seen. And it went, and it was, it was like all believable. You know what I'm saying? Like you could believe everything that it said. You feel me? So I'm just telling y'all, man. Like after I tell the story later on, y'all gonna, you know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna, I'm just gonna have to let y'all know which one it is. I'm actually gonna look at it real quick. But uh, hey, hey, Tupac is. He might be alive. Now he's Where's probably he old. Though? Where's he at though? Everybody used to say Cuba and all that shit, but I don't, I don't really he's in know. Brooklyn. He's in Newburgh. All right. He could. I mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really. I ain't really trying to. I don't really want to go that deep into as far as where he went. Yeah. But the plan, uh, from all the interviews over the years, is people just you know kind of spill the beans a little bit. You know, shit yeah. they probably weren't supposed to ever say. Right. It just. I seen a couple of interviews. I'm gonna give you. A, I'm gonna give you a hint. It was a U-Haul. They rented a U-Haul to park on the side of uh, Tupac's window. They left him on the first floor of the hospital. They never took him upstairs and shit. He was on the first floor of the hospital. Why would you leave a superstar on the first floor of the hospital? Like usually the first floor is like the administrative office and the triage, triage, and you know what I'm saying? Is that the emergency room? Triage, yeah, yeah. all that shit. You know what I'm saying? How is that possible? You feel me? So. They left him on the. They first left. Floor. They left a U-Haul on the side to block people because he had death threats in there, and they used it to block the window of Tupac, so nobody would, you know, really know. Come back and get him. Yeah, come up in there, and you know, his escape route was crazy. So, well thought out. You know, he and I shared the same birthday. Mm. He's my twin. Who Tupac? Yeah. <laughs> so what was the story? So how did it every so? Break it down for the people that don't know what's going on. Like, how did it start? Like what? Like, the, before he got shot. Because I heard that story. It was like in a casino. They All right. So, uh, so th this is the thing about it. Orlando Jones, That's the guy who heard. supposedly killed Tupac, With was in a lobby. With Keefe D. But he had no reason to be in the lobby uh -huh. because he had no ticket to the fight. Right. He wasn't gambling. Right. He was standing there like he was waiting on something. Yeah. After they beat his ass, Suge Knight, he looked up to Suge Knight and said, man, you know what? Fuck your money. After getting beat up, why would you say fuck your money? The like dude he was paid to do He it. was paid to stage. The fight was staged. I heard what I seen is that the dude was a, a, a crip and he seen and Suge was blood and they had beef with somebody in his crew. And they said Tupac wanted to prove that he was down with the boys. And went up to hit him first. If you see the video, Tupac go up first and steals him. Yeah, then, I mean, <clears> then <throat> everything that. was done, and they caught each other at a red light. Then it was boom, 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 boom. Yeah, but see, it's a lot to that shit because they said that motherfucker was actually permitted for a movie scene. 
that was actually permitted. And that last photo actually came from a real photographer. I know I, I seen it on. I don't watch. So movie. yeah, it's like it was too much bullshit going on. And then the bullets. They say after the car was shot up, it so much smoke came out of the car. It was only shot up what five, six times, seven, maybe eight, ten remember. at the most. But they said it was smoke coming from outside this motherfucker. Like, like I mean, from the inside of the car, like fireworks were going off. Cause this motherfuckers didn't even know there was gunshots first. The witness actually said that, you know what I'm saying? Right. They was actually like, sound like fireworks or something at first. And then they realized some shit. It was just crazy. I heard dude change the story cause he was getting in some trouble. Keefe D or something, dude, or something. Yeah, something. well, I ain't, you know, I heard, it's like you gotta take from, so, you gotta take from several stories. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, so it's basically like the greatest fake of death ever. I mean, like one of the movies. When you see it, when you see the documentary, man, like what's the documentary called? I gotta find. It. I'm gonna go it. when I go to the. Uh, it's on YouTube, but when I go to my history, I'm gonna put it up on her in a minute. <laughs> While we do the commercial break, I'm gonna damn sure remember shooting Tupac running on the dude to the car with a hole in it, and he jumped right in. <laughs> but we gonna get, we gonna, we, we gonna get, hey, we gonna get a little deeper into that later on, man. Plus, uh, we got, you know, Hollywood secrets. We want to know, you know, how true are these Hollywood secrets is going on, and that goes on with all that shit, the parties, the, cause you know we have parties here where I'm from, and it be some wild shit goes on in parties. People don't know about this guy knows about all that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of shit that goes on in parties here. No cell phones. And you guys signed up. What's it called? NBA? What's it called? No uh, disclosure. No, yeah, yeah. You got to sign that. That really do is this <clears> here. <throat> so what's up, Rachi? You, 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 you here? I'm here. What's going on? How was your week? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up? It was pretty Don't good. Don't start. Yeah, so <laughs> I really, I work um, six, 12 hour shifts. Six, 12 hour shifts. Getting yeah. that money. Man, doubt if you do not like, I don't mean to cut you off, but them twelve hour okay. shifts is not no jokes. Like if you I, if you don't go sleep, like so, like I you really gotta be on your sleep schedule. Now make sure I take my, my vitamin C, um, my iron, and um, it's one of the people that I take. X speed. We <laughs> 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 the X <X> yeah. <laughs> Nah, no, but man, <laughs> that Libra. <laughs> hey, I, I feel it, man. I've been working too, but I only do what ten hour shifts, so you know Damn. it's all good. It's easy though, you know what I'm saying. We ain't really doing too much right well, now. Well, I do eight hour shifts, and I be on. I be watching movies most of the night. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if y'all don't follow Moffat, go sorry. follow Moffat, man. He, we gonna make him part. He, he not going. He's part of the family, the, the hype life family, the travel talk family, man. Y'all yeah. ain't been on here. Look, he's he's definitely alumni <laughs> already. Twelve episodes in, man. So you know what I'm saying? He enjoys this shit. And we really all enjoy do. this shit. So, you know, we in the mix right now. Uh my dog Ro, man, he's out today sick, man. We don't know where he's at, man. He ain't talked to me. Hope you feel better, man. Call me up, big dog. Uh shit. What else we got today? We got uh Then wanna do the little what y'all do over the weekend? I mean shit. Y'all do anything for Memorial Day weekend? I didn't. This is my first time just chilling. Mine too. Normally I would be going out of town. I, I, I feel like the, that's what I was going to say. Everybody's going out of town. A lot of people's in Miami. It's in, always in though. In Houston too. That shit's overrated, that Miami shit. But it ain't. It still is fun. It's okay, every it time I, I don't it, it's, it's about who you go with though. Yeah, but every time I go to Miami, it's always they on alert. Uh, the spring breakers done made the curve. Every time I go to Miami, it's a curfew. Every time because they be wilding down there, but I, I enjoy Miami. I'm really like I'm like in Vegas now right now. Uh, I haven't been there yet, but I'm on really? my way. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Damn, a million times. What's your favorite uh, Vegas moment? Uh, maybe when I went to the Grand Canyon. It's in Vegas. What? It's in. I know. I mean, no, I'm just saying. Like, how, how do you have the best time of your life in the Grand Canyon? It's here it all that was it. You didn't do nothing else. Yeah, I've done almost everything that you can do. But what's the wildest thing? Yeah, you there you go. That's the better question. question. What's, the yeah, what's the wildest? Yeah, what's the And you ain't got a. She no, ain't had no liquor yet. She she, she ain't drinking. She's drinking Gatorade right now, so she probably can't say it. So what's the funnest <laughs> thing you did yeah. on the strip in Vegas? Oh, I say um. Zip line out to say what my funny things I did. 
the zip line and my my sister tried giving it this shoe. Oh, the uh where the roof is like changing colors. Yeah. My sister did that. Yeah, that was the funnest thing out there. Yeah, that's at that little uh, shop. That's in Old Vegas. Old Vegas, yeah. Yep, yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I got some people living down there and then shout out to my dog Millie. He be watching this shit, man, all the way from oh, Vegas. Well, no, baby. <laughs> uh oh, it's coming back to her, y'all. You know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's what's going on with her right now. She don't want to tell the They keep saying that. I went to Vegas. Keep... But the thing about Vegas is they three. Oh, she's laughing hard. We got to hear this. <laughs> but the thing about Vegas to me is they three hours behind. So my yeah. nigga. I'm drunk at 12 o'clock. It's a, I, mean, I mean, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm drunk. I'm like, dog, nah, we going home yet. Man, a little bit like 12 o'clock. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like. No, it was like it was like it was three in Louisville and it was twelve in Vegas type of shit. So I'm like, oh, Millie, what up, boy? I told you we're watching this shit from Vegas, man. What's yeah. going on? We gotta do the show out of Vegas one day. Yeah, I'm with it. Nice. I'm trying to. I'm on, on face. Face gonna pay for the whole oh, trip. No, nah, man. <laughs> face. <laughs> We forget that first big check, man. I, I treat y'all. The same. I might buy the pl- plane ticket. Y'all got to pay for everything now. But what was you laughing at? What's your favorite Vegas moment? Yeah, we need to know. So I would have to say, um, don't lie. I, I'm not. So I was. I went um, four wheeling, and you know. <laughs> Damn, what the flew you out? <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know how they teach you. You know how to do it all of that in the beginning. <laughs> So who the fuck you out? So I went out there intoxicated and feeling rather amazing. And I drove off a cliff when I what? Say, what? <laughs> the fuck? When I say a real cliff, a real cliff. Like I had to drink. I mean, I had to um I had to jump off the four wheeler and um, like I like can like hit my head, but the whole time when I got back, oh, it was so. When funny. was this? You gotta been young, right? No, this is like this is probably like two years ago. I think you getting flown out like left and right. So it must be nice. So I was like, oh my goodness! I'm like, I, when I, as I was going out the cliff, I'm like, I'm driving off a cliff. Where was you was in Vegas? Where they do it in Vegas? How'd you stay alive though? Right. <laughs> Listen, they, they, the little people, they, the little people drove that on the four wheel. I was like, okay. how did you stay alive, though? You was in the car. I was on the four wheel. Uh, and you, and you, did you stay on it? I jumped off the four wheel up when I went off the cliff. Before you got the cliff, you jumped off the four wheel up. So I was like, you have a parachute on. It blew up <laughs> like a movie. Listen, in, the, in my mind, I was thinking, oh my dude, god, dude, she's a stunt I'm devil, like, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm about to have to pay for the four wheel. I'm like, oh my god. That's all you was thinking about. Yeah, not dying. Yeah, myself. <laughs> So, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Okay, okay. So we she got, thought we about the paint field. scenery. We got to paint a scenery. Is yeah. this sand? Or are you like a cliff, like in the wood mountains? No, nah, this is uh, the like the in the desert. So okay, like, so oh. it's like okay, okay. So um, I got back on, but I, it's like I I was feeling so good, I kept wrecking it into the person in front of me. I'm just playing too much. <laughs> No, that motherfucker had too much I power. I wasn't intentionally trying to do it. It's just like I just couldn't get it together. The whole time I was in my head, the whole time I'm like, I'm laughing. I'm like, I'm really toasted right now. Like, I'm like really tripping off myself and I keep wrecking to the, in the person in front of me. Hey, don't, hey reminder, don't let her <laughs> drive you on a four wheeler. I swear to God. On, on especially God. Especially when she's feeling herself. In, in Vegas. <laughs> Listen to me. The next day, I was so sore. My tailbone was so sore. How big was this cliff? Because when right. you say a cliff, you like, dude. Yeah, like it was. I'm saying like literally a cliff. Like I drove off. I, it sounds like a ditch. Down. No, no. Did you drive down? The, you fell off. You the, drove down drove, it like. No, I was separated from the four wheeler. Oh, so did I, the four wheeler blow up like on a movie? It did not. So I'm saying I was so happy. How big was? Okay, how many feet was the? Uh, I gotta see his was, shit. It just sounds like them on the weeds over here. I thought you probably just jumped off a curve. No, I'm okay. Did you break anything? Well, she's having flashbacks. She's about to start crying. Let's talk about something. No, did, just... <laughs> <laughs> did you break anything? Did you? No? I was, I was so excited. I was blessed. That's crazy. Day. So, what did you do like <laughs> after that? Like, did you like, was you <laughs> like, that, like the last day you was there? How did you go out and have a good time that night? No, no. 
Okay. I know she did one out. You had a good time, did you? Yeah, I did. No scratches, <laughs> no bruises, no nothing. I was bruised. That's what I said the next day. Yeah, but you were sore. Like that's you know what I'm sore. saying. But I'm talking about like actual Damn. visual yeah, scars had, and shit. Yeah, I had some cuts and stuff. On my okay, legs. cool. So whatever happened to the bike? The bike. I remember I told you I got back on. I kept. I was still laughing at myself. I'm like, I didn't drop off a cliff. I keep wrecking. Ah, uh, so it didn't. It didn't mess it up too bad. No, I did it. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. I so. thought you driving off a cliff. I'm, I'm yeah. Thinking, when you say cliff, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking mountain cliffhanger. Yeah. It wasn't, she, it was a, no, it was a real cliff. I no, mean, I, I, no, I feel you. But what I'm thinking, what you don't understand is cliffhanger. Have you ever seen the movie Cliffhanger? A cliff. That's like a big ass. It's like a goddamn mountain. Like a hundred feet like, drop. Yeah. How big was the drop? Yes, yeah, so I'm saying probably like the top of her. All the way down. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. That is yeah, a big that, drop. That's a nice drop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you jumped yeah, off yeah, of it. Yeah. I would have kind of probably. I think I. I, I don't know what I would have done, bro. Uh, she she survived though, so that's all that matters. Fuck it. I would have flipped off of it because I'm cool hey, like that. Got, Good to have. Off my feet, I'm in checking my phone at the same time. Good to have you here, man. <laughs> look at look, 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 look. I ain't got no Vegas stories yet. I ain't you know what I'm saying. You, you know, in Miami? I'd have been. Uh, I haven't been to Miami. Well, I've been, been to been Panama. At, Give me your crazy uh, Panama story. What's happening in Panama? I ain't do nothing in that motherfucker, man. My nigga almost got kicked out the club <laughs> for smoking weed because you couldn't smoke weed in Panama at the time at all. I don't know if you still can or not. I went to Panama for spring break. Yeah, that's why. I, but Where see, I, I went to. I went with spring break, but I went right before. Yeah, go. the week before spring break actually started. So man, everything was like getting geared up for it. So I got some. Uh, like mopeds and shit and went around the city. It ain't nothing but like a man, They tried to tax me in Miami one day for some mopeds. It was like five hundred dollar deposit. <laughs> God damn. They tried to get me. So where you done flew at? You just like you done went everywhere. She's a traveler. Um, I do like to travel. Um I've I've been I guess where everybody has Y'all heard her. Let us know because y'all can hear about she can you hear me. Yeah, can you hear me now. now. There okay. You go. okay, there we go. Yeah, so I guess um, from Hawaii to Houston to California, um, Miami. I've been in yeah, I, I got Houston. a bad experience in Houston. Really? My first time in I Houston. had an amazing time. See, every time I've, I've done been out of town, I've been booked. Seven days. So I don't ever got paid for nothing, but I was in Houston. Uh, I be getting homesick. Yeah, really? yeah, I, like, like, <laughs> on some real shit. I'm like, like, like I'm like, already two, over it. I didn't seen all this I shit. I swear, like, like after two or three days, I'm over it. But when I was in Houston, my homie uh, Kid Cypress Shout out to Kid Cypress For booking me That weekend And Tone His manager We went to Open mic And I'm thinking It's gonna be like Paul Wall Mike Jones It's it's like NBA young boy It's just a lot of New Orleans people In Houston Yeah it is Like a lot And that threw me off So I'm like So we do all that We looking I saw Lil Tech I don't know if you know Who that is Lil Tech Mm-mm. He's a rapper down there He was in there Soon we leave there We turn the corner We heard I'm <laughs> like first time in Houston. Let's get out of here. But that shit will make you want to go home. But it's like night. a long ass e way. Like you got, it's always traffic. They say it's yeah. always traffic, yeah. and the heat is dry. Man, listen to me. No clothes. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> How's it down there blowing hot air everywhere? It's listen, blowing hot air. But that's how it is in Vegas too. Like I was in Vegas one year. It was storming in Vegas on me. It was so hot. It was like 114, 116 every day. Like where you really could see the heat wave yeah, and all of that. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm talking about if you smoke, you was not trying to smoke during it. It's like you was swallowing heat. It was yeah. that hot. Yeah, and I, 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 I love Vegas. Like, that's the first time I realized. That's when I realized. I think it was like in 2013. That's Damn, the first, been doing this, huh? It's the first time I realized that black people need to wear sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I realized. It's the melanin. No, yes. Look, I'm but, talking about, I, I, like, I literally had a heat rash on my chest. And I was like, my skin was getting so dry, I just kept putting on lotion. But that was, it was frying me. So uh, I'm just like, you gotta get real. So you putting some, butter on. Basically, crisping <laughs> up. I was, Ooh, I was so chocolate. Oh, nice and crispy. So, I was so chocolate. No lies, like, five shades darker. I was chocolate. So when you travel, you go with your family or you be with your girls? Or? Yeah, both. I go with my kids a lot and with my friends. I think for my birthday, I think I won't go like by myself for real. For real. What you mean by yourself? Like I ain't never been out of town by myself. So I think I might want to go somewhere by myself for my 35th birthday. I think I've been there. Did have I been out of town? I flew by myself. Oh, shit, my daddy yeah. threw me on the plane, sent me to Atlanta. One yeah, time. I've been flying by myself since by myself. I was like. Yeah. But so I, yeah. I've been so do you go sleep or you stay up? 
Um, both. Because like when I went to Hawaii, um, that flight was a twelve-hour flight. Nigga, so, what? Using air for sleep. for twelve hours? Listen, it was, off of four it was hours three flight. hours to Houston to Texas, yeah. and then nine to Hawaii. Ooh, I've been no good. I'm, <laughs> I'm sleep. <laughs> I hey, sleep. I'm sleep after a four-hour text. Oh, I mean, God. a four. I said four-hour text. text. A four-hour uh, <laughs> flight. Look at him. What you been doing? Nah. Look, but like I was saying, but like yeah, I go sleep on a plane. Like I don't play that. Yeah, I be trying, but I'm I be waiting. not. Bro. I take I take a time off being. It's with those a, man, that's field. exactly. I don't even take I nothing. I be. I got. Soon as we go up, but I got I got to make sure I download my Netflix movies before I go on the yes, plane. Yeah, I made that mistake too. I ain't have nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, nothing. you ain't got nothing. Now they give you they give you a movie. Yeah, some um, yeah, some um, some place yeah. give me a movie. So I think uh, I don't flew everyone. My I think I think Allegiance the cheapest. No Sprint. No Spirit. Derek, what up, boy? I don't, I don't flew Spirit back from LA. I yeah. think that's the cheapest flight you can get. In I LA. have too. There wasn't nobody on that motherfucker. Hey, have Spirit, I, I ain't never. I've only flew Delta. Every time I flew, I flew, I flew Delta. Delta, Delta America. And I was on yeah, the rack. Southwest. Last time I flew Southwest, you gotta pick your seats, don't you? I've been flying with Southwest for a long. Last, last time I flew, I went to Pensacola. What's, where's it at? Uh, in Florida. Yeah, it's down that way. Oh man, what happened? It was nice. What happened? So I gotta brag a little bit, cause you know I ain't gonna tell y'all who got connected on there, but I'm gonna just say we went down there. I got pictures of this shit. Uh, we stayed in like a 2.3 million dollar mansion. Drop bombs on them. On the, on the motherfucking. Drop um, bombs. You gotta get some bombs beach. on this stage. We gotta get some I know. bombs. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, gotta get some bombs hey. on this stage. Hey, we ain't had to pay nothing or nothing. It was just, it was just that that let me know, you know, what I'm saying the things that you do in life. And the people that you touch or reach out to or yeah. help, you know, you never know who the fuck you helping. I'm, exactly. You know what I'm it always comes back. I swear to God. It, uh, it always comes back. Man, we, two, you know, we had jet skis. We had, a, uh, we had all me. kind of shit going I on, I bet man. you had your sunglasses on, too, did you? I ain't have none of that shit on. My fat. <laughs> my shit was fat. I was fat the motherfucker at the time. But, hey, I was down there. We had, they had left us golf carts. Oh, uh, y'all just uh, right. Y'all just living. So, yeah. And we, I mean, it didn't. It was It was Like dope. dope Nigga I was like That's the dopest experience I've ever had We, we need to get a Hype Life Gatlinburg trip podcast hey, we did, I, I was trying to take this shit On the wire So yeah. I was looking Today I was looking on Amazon And I'm that looking Cause I'm gonna get a camera y'all It looks really clear right now But you know what I'm saying When I transfer it over to YouTube And I guess after it's been transferred Downloaded a few times You know oh, it I starts to get the story and shit, yeah. So I think I need to go ahead and invest in, you know what I'm saying, a power a more a more, you know, powerful camera to, you know, for Trap Talk Podcast. So be looking out for, you know, a better visual pretty soon, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm gonna get some change something at the beginning. Uh shit, with that being said, I guess we're gonna go to a commercial break. I wanna go to commercial break? Yeah. Go to commercial, man. We'll be right back with Trap Talk Podcast. And make sure you tune in every Sunday right here on Facebook for Trap Talk Podcast, man. If you got any questions, once you go over to the Trap Talk Podcast page, you can go like and follow the page. While you at it, why don't you go ahead and leave us a review? We do this every Sunday, 8 o'clock. Don't forget, tune in every Sunday, 8 o'clock. You already know what time it is. You already know what we came to do, man. So you go ahead and keep scrolling and do what you do. But right now... On Sunday, 8 o'clock, right now, I need you to put in your notes. I need whatever you put in, in, wherever you remember at, wherever you store your memory at, I need you to remember Sundays, 8 o'clock, every Sunday, 8 o'clock, Trap Talk Podcast. Yo, 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 man. Sorry for the inconvenience, man. We are back in the building, man. I go by the name of DJ Face Off. I didn't say that earlier, man. I go by the name of DJ Face Off. We got Rashid in the building. What's up? We got Moffitt in the building. You know who it is, the one and only. You know what time it is, man. It's Trap Talk Podcast, man. You already know what we're doing, man. Let us know if y'all can hear us. Let us know if you can hear the music, all that shit. If it's too loud, let us know what's going on. Anyway, we in the building right now, man, and we uh, where we left off at, 
uh, was we was talking about some Hollywood shit. I guess they didn't want to talk about it. They cut us off. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it the Illuminati. The Illuminati. Illuminati shit. I don't know. Damn. But uh, yeah, man. I, you know, I, you know, we just wanted to know. You know, it's a lot of little secrets and shit to go on in Hollywood. Right. And it's the same type of shit to go on in your regular, you know, in your city for real. The it's just not on that shit. status. You know what I'm saying? We could talk about some Hollywood shit, and some local shit. It, hey, I'm telling you, a lot of these situations that happen in Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Weird ass parties, swinger parties, all that shit. And <laughs> that happens. That's not even a weird ass party, but I'm just saying swinger parties. That and, happens here. It is weird parties. Yeah, that happens in your own city. You know what I'm saying? Sign a, it, it happens with some powerful people. Yeah. In this city. And, and you got you to <laughs> disclose, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to sign them yeah, disclosures and all I, that shit, you know? I got a story. You want to tell it? I don't know if I can say this, but. Don't even tell it then. I can say it, but I ain't gonna say no DJ who it was. But that stuff do happen in Louisville where they be having swinger parties. Yeah, I know like two DJs in the Legion. Shout out to the Legion. Nah, man, you can't. Be. <laughs> Don't say their name. Shout out to. Them. <laughs> but that dude, that dude go down in Louisville and some of the powerfulest people in Kentucky. You just gotta sign your little slip, your little slip, and take your little test, and it goes down. <laughs> That's a real thing, though. That's a real thing. Did you Look, see yourself doing some shit like she that? She knows it. Or I, 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 no, just say if your kids, you didn't have no kids. I don't know anything about it. I know you don't, but I'm saying. I'm talking to his company. <laughs> she knows what's going on. When she says she don't know what's I don't know nothing about it, I mean, she's just saying something. She don't want to get sued, and she's on the internet. I don't know nothing about it. My first time. Never had an inclination of. Okay. You never heard of those parties? I ain't never yeah. been a party. I saw, okay, so you done heard nah, of she knows she be trying to play bougie yeah, on her. That's why I'm saying you always saying no. I don't. I ain't saying you been in one, one, but you done heard. Not you about locally? Yeah. No, I haven't. Oh, really? Yeah, I haven't. <laughs> you just see it on the movies. Yeah, that's it. I, no, it's not that's some never, real life thing, baby. I'm not knowing that. It, I'm not never saying that it's fake. I just don't know nothing about nobody who didn't did it because I don't care. No, I just know the DJ, the, the, the security, not the DJ. <laughs> Hey, mine for be talking. He be telling old everybody, yo, yeah, you better watch it. Y'all, y'all fuck with him. He gonna get you. It goes down. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't heard some crazy stories. You know what I'm saying? But not, not some that. I mean, most of the shit you hear now come from Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, but you know the gay shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all they talk about. They don't talk about no. They used to talk about couples being together and shit. And, I mean, they talk about it a little bit, but now they just talk about who who came out the closet and who's doing this. And that's all it is. Yeah, it ain't the same Hollywood. If you ask me, so nope. Definitely, definitely different. So don't get the fuck off of Hollywood, man. We ain't talking about them no more. Okay, they ain't giving us no money. I need some advice right now because I'm going through a midlife crisis. What's no, up, man? What are you going I through? Need relationship advice. Okay. Um, so can y'all help you, me? But you, so um, can y'all help me figure out what I'm trying to do? Okay. I got a question. First question to my OGs. Do somebody's past matters? The beat drop. I don't know. It'll be, the beat, why did the beat drop like I that? I don't know. Maybe it's waiting <laughs> on you to. <laughs> Do somebody's past matters in a relationship? I guess it would appear. Can somebody who? Does their past matters? Like, say if they was like, thought, thought of the year. But then, did you win thought of the year? <laughs> uh, okay. I done been with some thoughts, but they cool people that I fuck with them. But just say, if somebody you they met. Like they're another species, though. Like they, they are another species. <laughs> but say if somebody you, you kicked it with, right? She done got a bad pass doing all this stuff. But when you really get to know this person, you really like this person. Right. That's all that matters. Right. So it's, it, the past doesn't matter. It's all that matter because to me, ultimately, it was only be it would only matter because of what other people would think. Right. Yeah. And if if they don't matter because of how she make you feel, then it wouldn't matter what her past is. Because if you fucking with her, man, then and if you see fuck who she her. is, it's like because we all got a past. Every. Got it's it. like everybody got a past. Ain't nobody perfect, but that's why I say it just really depends. But if it's some. You know, they once was known for doing this or whatever. It's like, damn, they got to be held to that for forever. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, who cares? Who cares? So, what you think about it? Is no, that- I don't. I don't think you should judge nobody off their past, bro. Plus, they past, they past, nigga. I think 
everybody who, because everybody didn't live a certain life when they was younger. Right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody who like lived lives a certain life as far as you what's know, a, what's a sheltered yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah. and they didn't really do a lot. That's yeah. one thing. But if 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 you was out there and you got to experience that shit, I feel like you know the majority of people right. have had their moments where they was out here it's doing just, some right, wild, wild shit. Wild. So yeah. I think everybody has things in their past that they don't want to come up and creep from behind in the future. But that's just how it goes. And it really doesn't. If you if you anything like me. Hey, that was my past. Yeah, because you know I'm saying I got, I got a like, crazy yeah, past. That's why I, I can't be like I can't judge them because I got a crazy past. So when I kick it with somebody, I'd be like, yeah, but you learn, you live and you learn. Yeah, you, you know just in the moment. That's the whole. Yeah, you live and you learn. That's what it is. That's what it's about. So. And some people still want to do what they did in their past, and then that's when you have to make a decision on if you want to deal with that person. They don't want to grow know? up. Yeah, because it's like sometimes. You don't want to always have to meet somebody where they are. Sometimes you want them to be where you at, you know? Okay, I got another question to follow for that one. So, man, because I'm saying, cause, you know cause, what I'm saying? I feel like these days, <laughs> okay, do you want somebody? I'm going to ask you these two questions. I'm, I'm interviewing them right now. Okay. So, do y'all want somebody that y'all want to build with or somebody that's already I build it. I build it. With, or somebody that's going to, that, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah, it, that, it's like it doesn't matter. You know it doesn't matter if Do you want somebody. It doesn't matter if somebody's already established. Right. You still got to build. And then, like right or wrong. I mean, right. more or less. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, whoever the person is that's already established and already has more, if that person fall in love with this person, it's like it doesn't matter. But these like, days, these new females, they won't like. Was it 70 30 relationship? They don't do no 50 50. They want you to have your stuff together and woo woo woo. This, this but, is to talk to them. And I, I mean, I just, for me, 50 50 doesn't always mean 50 50. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it might have to be 70 30. Sometimes mm-hmm. it might be half 60 40. Right. Like, you just never know at what point in the relationship where you have to be more for the other person. And if right. you're not willing to do that, then why are you in a relationship? No, right? that's true. You know, I believe sometimes that. it's gonna, the coin's gonna flip on your side where you have to do the more, right? And you, but, you do it because you never know when it's your turn exactly. to go back on the you other know, side. You, know you don't need that same help. So, so I'm gonna ask you a question, Face. Do you want a chick to be there for you mentally, or financially, or sexually? What do you want? I would say mentally and sexually. Yeah, I ain't really being on taking a lot of shit from women, what? right? Not to. Downplay women giving things away because I mean I, I will you feel me it ain't it ain't, ain't no problem but I'm not that type of dude that's willing just to just take from a woman just keep taking mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying because I feel like a weak ass nigga then yeah like, you know what I mean yeah, like a car, nah, you know what I'm saying like yeah and that's yeah thing, buy me a car is too much no food so, and like that, that's to me I, like, I ain't never want no woman to buy me no car physically or financially. Speaking for yourself Mentally for sure mm. And um, What was the other one Financially Financially And uh, what was That's the other preferably one? Yes Financially <laughs> That's most women uh, you got me for a left curve. I'm, not, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna play my part But You want somebody To be there To be like Woo 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 I'll take care of you Okay I got another question so yeah, I mean every woman Wants that though So <laughs> If a man take it To care of you Financially you gotta do everything you say. You cannot mess up not one time. No, it's I not mean, gonna that, work like that because you feel like you're taking the money. You better do everything. Every dude, I'm not gonna be in a relationship money, like that. that. You gonna have to be. No, I don't mean just because this person's got the bigger half doesn't <laughs> mean that have you, you have, have to be to submit be. to do or ne- and accept whatever. That's a fool. I ain't no, doing that. That's what it is. Ain't nobody gonna do all that these days. These dudes, they not gonna pay all this thing. You think you gonna have your no, way? No, I ain't, no, I'm not that's saying true. It like that. I just, you gotta give up something. So I true. just, I guess the way I they think, can go, pay, they can go back, they can go pay for the, the, the way I'm, the sex. way I'm, the way I'm, the way I see it. Right. I'm not gonna be in a relationship where I'm not doing nothing because I work hard. So I'm not gonna be in a relationship where this person's providing for me a hundred percent. So basically, if, if you if you involve with a rich person, you still gonna keep your child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is that, but is that but where I, is that kind of like where you trying to? 
Yeah, but, 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 because if she's still, hold on, if she's still working, but especially some, in the profession, some, some, uh, yeah, I see if you working, but some dudes that got money don't want they chicks to work so they can have a little power over them, I feel like. Yeah, and I believe that. I believe that. But I why? That. I mean, don't you want some free time? You got money, you can have free, you can do whatever you want Man, because you control the situation. They ain't gonna go nowhere. These days, these females, yeah, they're not gonna go nowhere, so you basically can do whatever you want. Yeah. It's just, it's long crazy. As long as they got their nails did, they cell phone bill, you can do whatever you want. Dang, that's it. Yeah. Say what? Hold on. <laughs> what I'm what'd a regular you say? person. What'd you I say? say? I don't see. I'm a regular person. What'd you say? I was a millionaire. Hold on. What'd you say, though? All you got to do is have their nails done and they phone paid. They're going to make money doing what they do. Damn. Hey. It's an all time high. That's, oh, I can't agree with you. Oh, it's bad. Like it's real bad. That's why I'm asking y'all these little. Somebody dating. like right now, the little the women right now. It's bad. You saying the women right it. now like that? Yes. I it's can so believe bad. it. It's an all time like. Right. Cause like, I was like, what the fuck? Get no, no, real talk. Like, yeah. It's really, it's really bad for my age. What's like, the age range? What age is that? Because I'm, I'm, I'm 37. I would say 34, 30, 30. I don't know, cause this next generation's coming up is gonna be so wild, and it's gonna be like it's gonna change the game. It's gonna change the game. Like it's gonna be a lot of monogamous relationships. Motherfuckers gonna start posting. Is that how you say? No, 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 no. Yeah, motherfuckers, no. This was gonna happen. Motherfuckers gonna start. No, this it's was gonna happen. Motherfuckers that's start, secret, but uh, motherfuckers gonna start posting their prices on their timeline. That's how bad it's about to get. Wow. That bad. That's where I see where it's going. Am I lying? Wow. Hey. Cause that was a that was a uh, that was a lady, yeah. that was a girl, um, as a woman or whatever you you know she was on Facebook. I don't really want to shout out because it ain't nothing personal. I just don't want to push everybody to a page for some bullshit like that. But that's how dating is. It was like don't. It was like don't. Um, basically, don't watch my story. You remember them when it was going around? Yeah. And her name was Big. And I ain't gonna I'm gonna say. <laughs> and uh, that's all I'm gonna say. And and man, it was a whole porno, the yeah. whole story. I done not I was like, damn. I, I got my only fans. <laughs> I was like, that's what the said. fuck? It's bad. It's bad. Like the damn thing is like really bad right now. It's real bad. And I was like, damn, you. I mean, Facebook. You know, you can't listen to the next motherfucker song without getting. You know what I'm saying? Put in jail. Nah, I can't. I can't say this. I can't say hit. I can't say punch. I can't. I probably won't say it on here. So I get what it. What up, bro? I can't say none of those words, and I get thirty days every time. And I saw somebody. I shared a status the other day talking about somebody done did something to his baby mama, and it's like shared a thousand times, and it's real bad. And I'm like, that's crazy. That Facebook just crazy. Hey man. <laughs> And then, and then, while we on this topic, man, like when people be like when when dudes be exposing women and shit, like when they, you know, what I'm saying, exposed that oh look, they was giving me head, how they was doing that shit, that makes niggas want to get the head. So when my baby, I just want to let y'all so know. I got a question. So when my ex exposed me, <laughs> what are you talking about? What you? I didn't. I don't, you ain't seen you on around. I know you see the. Uh, she exposed me one time, two times actually. All I remember y'all doing is the, uh, the Twitter, the, the silhouette challenge. Yeah, I remember that. And then they, and that, that made girls wanna. Yeah, I was popping after that. Then, uh, then she that, did it again. But we was on some joking shit, so she tried, she tried to expose me on the bull part, and I didn't brush my hair. And she did it again. Did it again three, two times. And and they just kept making them yeah. jump on you. Yep, especially the first That's time. That's when y'all expose shit like that, man. I can't expose it. It don't even make sense. It don't. Like, dude, don't. I'm a fuck, I'm gonna put she gave me some hit. That's I'm gonna put, make I'm you gonna put it. She 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 let me fuck. You nigga, gonna lose nigga gonna gonna be like, nigga. Yeah, you're gonna lose more females doing that. Like let a female do it, let a female expose you, but if you're a dude, don't do that, because that's gonna hurt your credibility. Is that is that true? Yep. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Yo." laughs> I mean, because I would, I mean, I haven't never expressed nothing like that. But if it if it did happen, if a guy did that, 
It just would make me look at him like a girl. Like, see, I got exposed. <laughs> Why I got don't you exposed. take it that far? Yeah, you know, like, I got it exposed. is a bitch move. She exposed me a couple times. But I'm not even gonna do that either, though. It's just too much. Yeah, I ain't. People just ain't go to the internet with taking it to the, too much. It ain't got nothing yeah. to do with that. It's like, yeah, you, it's hey, bro, so you know when you don't take nothing to the internet, I'm gonna be real with you. When you when you don't take shit to the internet, like nothing personal and everything you take is positive, bro. It. It's, it's a totally different change. Yeah, because I've been you know sending some some problems going around the city last night, uh, this weekend actually around some stuff. I was like, man, they over here both going live at the same time. I'm like, it's not even worth it. Just, just stop exposing the shit. Then you over here entertaining people that really don't care. Because that's what and that's, that's, that's that's my whole thing. People oh, really don't, don't care. If they got a if they got a hundred fucking views they gonna keep going like these motherfuckers don't care about you for real all they want is the entertainment. exposure that's it the entertainment. I hate that I that's had to learn it. the hard way on that that's it all they want to see you do is fuck up do something that's stupid it. go ahead smack a bitch <laughs> yeah, <I was laughs> like for real no, do it on camera make sure got, we can see it man, I got pictures of y'all on that y'all was cool cool like it's right stupid, it's not worth it hey man it's you should never fall out with your homie or your niggas about no woman, bro. Nah, fix that. Ever. Fix that. that. That should be something. I got a homie. <laughs> I got a couple homies. No, no, I got a homie, dog. Real talk. He wasn't my homie at this time. I didn't know who he was. Right. You feel me? So when I seen, when I, when, I, when I met him, we worked at the same place. He came up to me and he was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? What up? Your name's, you know, everybody used to call me Stefan back in the day. So he's like, hey, yo, your name's Stefan. I'm like, yeah, nigga, you know what? But I ain't jump off. I was just like, you know, like, yeah, what's up? what's up? What's up? What's up? Not set tripping because I always been a kind of a known guy. I always just talked to everybody. It was cool. So I just like, okay. He's like, you know, this girl named Wootie Woot. I was like, yeah, he's like, man, you know, I'll be fucking with that dude. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so, bro, bro, hold on, I'm gonna stop you right there. When a nigga asks me about a chick, I'm gonna always say, I do not know no, her. No, I was like, yeah, though, because he said her name, her name was unique. You know what I'm saying? Not, no, you call that name. Not, no, no he's saying it was unique. Not, like, yeah, it was a unique, unique name. name. Yeah, it was a unique name. Yeah. Okay. So, it, it really wasn't a unique name, but. <laughs> The last name and the first name together made it unique. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just the way it sounds together. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know how you always get that motherfucker you know at work and you, you call him <laughs> by his full name because uh-huh. just the way it sounds. Uh-huh. What up? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Chocolate Thunder. I mean, whatever. You know, whatever comes to mind. You know what I'm saying? You. But, you know. So, damn. Damn. Oh. I just lost my place where I was at. What was, what was I saying? You was talking about unique. In the the oh, name was unique of the girl. And the girl. Okay, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so listen. So, <laughs> it got lost. In so, the world. girl, so, okay, so I'm like, yeah, I know her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I fuck with her. So, we sitting around telling stories and shit. We ain't hostile or nothing. We just telling all these stories. He's like, man, I remember when I pulled over her. And uh, I was sitting over here, and then I, as soon as I left, I seen a car, and he was telling me his car. I was like, nigga, as soon as you left, you pulled out. I pulled right in. No. <laughs> Dead ass. She was crazy. And me and that nigga cool to this day. He probably, he probably liked it. It's like, he probably really hey, like comment right hey, now. For real. Nah, I remember for real. That. That's my, nah, real talk. We, we, get, we met each other because we fucked with the same chick. And me and this Singer. nigga, that's like my brother. That nigga was up there at the hospital when my son was born. That nigga was been around still. It's been like over 10 years. You see? Wow. This shit's crazy. So don't let these women get you into no shit with a nigga you could be friends with. And these men forever. too, because y'all be doing it up. Like, what? What they be doing, girl? What I don't fight doing? over no doing? pussy. What don't, what, don't, what don't y'all be doing? What, what are we doing? What's some things you don't like that we do? Y'all just lie. Y'all lie for no reason. Y'all make it. Shit, uh, y'all make stuff a situation that don't gotta be. Y'all like to play all around and with so many different people. And it's like instead of just being like, "This is the type of person that I am." Do you want to mess with me or not? That's one thing. It's like so. What y'all be doing? Just playing perfect. Leading. So no. y'all just be perfect. No, I don't. I won't say that. But. See, look, there go that. I won't say that. So what? What is it? Y'all, I'm not saying one thing about you women. You done, you done named a thousand things we done did bad. Then I, I asked you I'm a, like, one thing about women. Y'all always see we if y'all ever do cheat, y'all cheat to fall for a nigga. Like I don't really know to me. No, I know. There's a few women that would just be like, yeah, I want some dick. 
whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying most women, when they cheat, they cheat to fall in love. Nah, it's cheap for a lot of other reasons. A relationship based woman does. Because if she's cheating, she ain't happy. That's, yeah, she probably wants something. Yeah, I won't say that she's looking to fall in love. She wants something. Either money or trip or attention or uh, something. She wants something. She's not just cheating because you cheat. It's something you ain't doing right. That's nah, what I'm saying. Just some females right. just cheat. It's just in them. They just sick. That is sick. <laughs> At either party, just. just but I mean, people just do what they what they. I mean, like some people don't know no better. Some people seen their parents doing that shit. They say it. Yeah, just just bringing niggas. Especially in the nightlife. I don't even I'm fuck with the, I, I don't really fuck with the relationship shit and I don't fuck with the nightlife in relationship. Like you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't want nobody who's out, you know. Yeah. It is not even Yeah, I don't think I would want nobody to I mean, I don't know. But I'll be out there, <laughs> but I'm not really I'll be I'll be partying a lot, but I'm not with all that extra shit and everybody think I'm a part of it. Mm. Sometimes you be in the, uh, you be somewhere where you, you know, yeah, I guess the way you make it sound when you telling the story makes it sound so wild. But in reality, nigga, I was sitting at my phone scrolling, not doing nothing. I've done that before. Facts. Like literally, like just being on I Facebook watching videos right. and shit, like at a, at a live ass party. Yeah. Because the energy is there, but man, I've been doing this shit, so I just yeah. Don't so even, it's like it it's like it ain't even. Party it's like in. I can fall asleep in the middle of a fucking party. I'm dead dead. ass. I can't see. Like it's to that point, like concerts and all that shit. Like I don't gotta be it. drunk. Uh, I don't I, gotta be high. I, I can just fall asleep if I'm sleeping. I'm just right there. Boom, boom, boom. I fell asleep in the Gucci concert. Sleep. I fell asleep in the Gucci concert because it's like it's normal. Like going out for us is not going out. Just, it ain't. It's almost work. It's more support. Especially, if you go out, it's support. Especially on that hype man. You like why you drop it like that? Why he? You know DJs and shit. And hype man. They they hear him. Why he drop it? Why he play it? You know what I'm saying? You, an yeah, easy, you yeah, be bro. like working. We gotta get you an easy. Every time you go out. That's you know. That's, that's we used to be. Uh, we y'all we was out here smashing shit, nigga. No, no. Okay. I got another question for y'all before we get out here. Uh, it's too like I got another question for y'all. No, we straight. We got. What's the I non? Be, I don't know what time. I think it's ten o'clock. I think it's yeah, nine thirty. Yeah, it's uh, really nine thirty. Let me ask y'all some, What's some non-sexual things that turned y'all off? Non-sexual. Mm-hmm. I would say hygiene. Definitely. Yeah, they be stinking right, y'all. No, I'm just saying. Just, no, that's just, you ask the question. Okay, y'all both can't say the same answer. So you give me some different. Now you gotta give me some different. Nah, I need another answer. I need another answer. Y'all that's both said hygiene. So what's number two? Give me three. Slobbing Both. on yourself for no reason. Who the fuck? <laughs> That's been slobbing on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to give me three. That don't count. Who <laughs> be slobbering on yourself? You best way. Yeah, nobody. I don't <laughs> slobbering on yourself. I'm just saying, it's just like I, you said something. That's something that's uh, like I wouldn't be attracted to. So you can't give me that. You give me two more. <laughs> I got to get two more. Yes. You the lady on the stage. If we had another lady, I'd ask her, but you got to take it's two okay. of them. So I would say maybe. So you got fan on I'll her. Say, like I'll I like her. I say I say maybe disrespectful. Disrespectful. Okay. Yeah, I like the arrogance because sometimes when you deal with a certain type of guy, he come with a certain level of arrogance. So just, so what type of what, what the certain type of guy? You talking about the certain I'll type of guy with it, money? Anyway, the money because you, the you guys with money, the guy. Arrogance. If don't nobody know what what she look like standing up, they won't understand. So <laughs> so break it down. So your your type's different. <laughs> so break it down to what you saying. I'm just saying. Um. You, you got a lot of pull. Y'all want to get a who? I mean, people get her. Y'all want to do a 360. So, so her 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 perception is different between a lot of y'all. So you know what I'm saying? So hey, that is true. The facts, uh, bro. You that a girl with a big but donkey thong, bro? I feel for you. Look at she best with her and everything. Look no, at her, for like, real though, no, because they get they get a you can't they tell get a shit load of attention. You know what I'm saying? Like. And it's hard but, to deal, but it, it, but you got to be built. Uh, it ain't hard to deal with. But she don't post like that. Cause you I got, honestly say you don't post like that. But I, no, I, I know. But most you, of them would. don't. Most of the super thick ones, they don't. She got an old picture, so from 1996. What? So <laughs> that we gotta get rid of. Hey, you should have heard her trying to make his fire this morning, dog. What she say? 
I might see you. I might see you. Nah, I was making, I was making the flyer, man. And man, every picture she had, I'm like, man, she like. I no, swear, no, I'm like, I, take that out. I didn't I'm realize, like, bro. She been my face. It's in every for picture, wow. though. She was like, take it out. I was like, it's in every picture, though. <laughs> Like, we, we gonna get her together, y'all. Cause she, uh, pro, don't don't fall for a profile picture. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> don't fall for a profile picture. <laughs> Facts. Cause you've been commenting on my stuff. We've been talking internet for years. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, trust me. You can't trust her. I see why she don't post from the uh, head down now. <laughs> Keep them off. Hold on, man. But it's been like. Hold on, man. With that being said, man, we'll be right back. We're going to be like, right back, dog. This ain't going to take nothing like two seconds. We'll be right back right after this on Trap Talk. Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on, man? You know what it is, man. I go by the name of Hype Man Face, a.k.a. DJ Face Off. We in the building right now, man. And I want y'all to make sure y'all get these trap talk. I, I said trap talk. These Hype Life motherfucking shirts, man. I still got some. I got more coming. Uh, better material, all that shit. Hoodies, hats, bucket hats. Damn it. Everything, man. We out this bitch right now hustling, man. So, hey, y'all need to get at me at this page right here that we on right now on Hype Man. What is it? Hype Man FAC. And then holler at me on Instagram at Hype Man Face. I think it's underscore face. I don't even be on her like that no more. But I need to go check it out. But make sure y'all holler at me, man. We be right back, man. We still in commercial break right now. Right back. Right after these. Right after these messages. And make sure you tune in every Sunday right here on Facebook for Trap Talk Podcast, man. If you got any questions, once you go over to the Trap Talk Podcast page, you can go like and follow the page. Are you at it? Why don't you go ahead and leave us a review? We do this every Sunday, 8 o'clock. Don't forget, tune in every Sunday, 8 o'clock. You already know what time it is. You already know what we came to do, man. So you go ahead and keep scrolling and do what you do. But right now, on Sunday, 8 o'clock, right now, I need you to put in your notes. I need whatever you put in, wherever you remember at, wherever you store your memory at, I need you to remember Sundays, 8 o'clock, every Sunday, 8 o'clock, Trap Talk Podcast. Yo, 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 we back, man. Hey, we had to, we had to lose a co-host, man. She had an emergency. She had to roll. She had to get up out of here. Yo, so... Before she left, man, we was on some. What were we talking about though? Before she left, <laughs> what, what, what was the? What was we talking about? <laughs> we was talking about. God damn it! What was the fuck was we talking about? Because we had to ruin it, man. Hey, no, it was. I can't. I look, y'all. <laughs> that threw me off. <laughs> it threw it. Yeah, right. This whole shit. It was just, you know how it go. We going with the but flow. Anyway, thing, man. We on the flow right now, man. So anyway, man, we we was we was talking about relationships and, and, and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna jump into this AI shit, man. So I mean it's artificial intelligence, man. Uh it's dangerous. It's dangerous and um these robots is catching feelings, you know what I'm saying? So if a robot see you walking down the street, think that you cute and they wanna holler at you and you don't respond. 
you'll get smacked. No, but they did some crazy shit with that AI. You remember when everybody was doing those little pictures and it was uh it was the AI pictures. Like they got AI where they can do music. No, nah, I heard they got um yeah, they got the voices of <laughs> yeah, they got uh, the that, voices of everybody. So. That shit's crazy. It's that shit's crazy. crazy. That's gone. They ain't even know. So what does that what does that do? What does that mean for you know humanity? You know what I mean? Like you can't believe everything you heard. I see. That's already though. It's just double that. They already say they already say you ain't even uh half of us are what reptiles or half you see they got the AI at the motherfucking McDonald's thing. Have you been up to the McDonald's where that uh robot come up and talk to it's at nah, rallies? Oh, man. At rallies they got the robot, you take an order and they or take your order. You don't Who talk cooks about it though. I guess the people, but they might replace them with with robots. Niggas ain't gonna have jobs. Nah, they just giving niggas two dollars an hour shot shit. Man. Right, one person working up in there. It's gonna be crazy. Like a AI, like they got AI art, AI music, the the pictures. Like they can like that's just crazy. Yeah, I was watching um, Hot Box. I think it's what it is. Hot boxing with Mike Tyson. With Mike Tyson. Okay, I got you. Yes, and they and man. they was they was kind of touching on the same thing, and well, they was saying the music. They got like a, a, a artificial intelligence music. voice of yeah. him. Yeah, rapping. yeah, that's crazy. I don't see it. They don't yeah. do it a couple of times. Like I don't see them put a bunch of engineers where they can change like the speed of the sound where it sounds like an artist and they don't even beat them. Like that's how good. that's how that shit that's how that shit goes though, man. Mm, it ain't gonna be nobody performing no more. <laughs> Once I get to three D, niggas gonna be at their crib just chilling. Can't worry about it, man. I'm Can't, telling you, I don't die. You just gotta live your life because if you worry about everything that they putting out here, man, you won't go nowhere. That's on God. That's on God. That's on God. Well, let me ask you a couple questions, mate. Let's be on here. Where are you trying to go with this podcast? So we let enlighten everybody. I'm gonna interview Face right now, man. For for one, I don't even know, man. I mean, I'm just trying to go as far as it takes me for real. And for real, I'm really trying to put people on because you know I might have something. I got a passion for this, right. but it may be somebody with maybe the star quality that they need mm-hmm. to to. Push theyself to the another, another level, another level, and that's kind of where I come in. That was basically like, I, I one of them cats where I can stand in the cut. I don't have to be the star, right? You know what I'm saying? I can stand in the cut, but I can help you get to where you' trying to go at. So yeah, I heard that people. He's you trying know what I'm saying? So if you need a podcast you and you don't have the equipment, you don't have the know how, or you know, you just don't don't know how to. Do, Make it work Then it is what it is You know what I'm saying So I got you You know what I'm saying So who are the podcasters That inspired you To want to do this Or what did you see You're like I want to do this Man So Me and EB and BZ Shout out to EB Thundercat 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 BZ Uh We had this thing called Dope 16 Radio I think I remember um, that. It yeah. was it was on the uh it was on the internet radio station called 502 FM. Shout out to Dizzy and um Murph and um Dizzy, that's my dog. Y'all been messing with Dizzy that long? DJ Ray Ray. Oh, DJ Ray Ray. Uh, Shout out to DJ Ray Ray. He got the internet. He's like the motherfucking say cheese yeah. of Louisville. Shout out to DJ Ray. We went to school together. Shout out to DJ We gotta get we so definitely they, gotta get him so, on the show. So they have 502 FM right. and me, BZ, and um E B. Our E B B Z and I, yeah. maybe you say it correctly. Uh, we all uh, was sitting there like, you know, doing dope sixteen shit. So right. we was like, well, fuck, we gonna go ahead. What up? What up, uh, Hera? Did y'all have a uh, shot there? He just booked me for his daughter's uh, front pictures. Did y'all have dope sixteen like freestyle battles? I was I'm, I'm uh, something else. So no, that was it. The, uh, we didn't have no on the radio. No, we just talked about. <laughs> We, it was pretty much almost like it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you know, we did our thing. We played local music in between our breaks and shit. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, which is more, I'm looking into that, y'all. So, uh, y'all start sending that music, and we can start playing it on this podcast straight up. What's the email that you send it to? Uh, you can send it to hype man face thirty three at gmail dot com. Send okay. it there. Send that music, y'all. Send that music. I'll play that shit all the whole time. Well, I can't play it the whole time, but I got to play it on the break because you can't hear it. Anymore. If you want your music play, send that little feed. Get it put on there early. Send it on there. Rewind the video. Hype man face. 
at gmail.com, man. Right, right. And then, uh, yeah, man. So, like, if you need a podcast, hit me on the same line. If you need a podcast, I just hit me on my page, hit me on my inbox, whatever it is. I got my uh, number up there, man. I had a segment we was going to do tonight, man, but we're going to wait, wait till next week, man. Next week, okay. Uh, Moff is a part of the squad, man. We're going we gonna to get this shit going. Yeah, man. We're figuring it out right now. It's the beginning. Yeah. So you, be, you better get on now. Cause when, yeah, when I it mean, blows. It, it's what, like like I said, if you if you just need, if you want to be like, nigga, I just want to get me and my niggas up. If you want to do sports. You feel me? Hell, I'll let them. You know what I'm saying? I'll let look. I can have stats on the backboard back here. Y'all can talk about them, point at them, all that good shit. Like if whatever, you know, whatever. Sport we can. It, it ain't got to be. Girl. And I definitely don't want it to be the same setup, y'all. So you know, it's it's all about we'll put some being, trees in here. Yeah, some some create, some it's all about some creativity. You know, creativity and all that shit. So I want it to be. You know, I want y'all to be comfortable. You feel me? Right, right. And I want it to look like you want it to look like. You know what I mean? So if y'all need it, come. Hey. Oh, nope, I ain't get it. I ain't get it, bro. You gotta send it again. I didn't give you that email though. I'm gonna give you, send it to that email. Hey, nigga, so Harry got a who song is, is hot right who, now. Who? Nice. Ryan. Yeah, he just dropped that motherfucker. Okay. It's nice. I'm man. over it. Okay, let me tell you the story right here. I'm over it. <laughs> I can have some crazy stories with, with Harry Caesar. No, that's, it, that's, who's her name? That's Harry Ryan. Harry Ryan. Mm-hmm. Hello. You don't know Harry Oh, you got uh, I already know you. I thought that was Harry Caesar and him. Oh, I already mean, know you. What's another story? Yeah, you got yeah, to. Uh, I got. I got. I got to tap in. Gotta give him, yeah, he been around for a minute, man. Well, you got to get him on the show so I can interview him. Yeah, see man. what's going on. How you feel about this? I got. I got a lot of ideas for this motherfucking show. So man. what? What some dope interviews uh, that you want to talk about? Like what? 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 You, what do you like to talk about? I mean, so. It's ain't it's ain't it ain't really what I want to talk about, bro. It's about it's about I feel like what's 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 hot, what what's what's interesting. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'm a hood story type nigga. I right. like hood. I like stories. So I'm gonna go ahead and break a secret, man. I'm looking into bringing a wild guest on her. Wow, uh, wilder than not, me? Not wild, wilder than me? Not wild, wild, wilder than me? No, it ain't him wild, but. It's gonna cost, you know. It's probably gonna, it's probably gonna hit my pockets a little bit, but uh, oh, I got this. I'm talking about Gangsta Williams, man. I'm thinking about trying to get Gangsta Williams. Oh uh, man, man, I gotta meet that nigga. Oh, we uh, gonna go viral. So, Don't tell me that, cause so, I go in there and start writing my questions right now, and we going viral. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking into a few people that I want to get on. Oh, okay, so you want to do? I'm, yeah, I'm going. I'm going hard, y'all. Let's do like it. we ain't talking about, you know what I'm saying? I mean. Shout out to everybody who's trying to do something in the city, but explain to who Gangsta William is to people. So who Gangsta William him. is um babies. Half brother Bird. Half man. brother Bird, yeah, Bird man. He's the one that had 240 40 years. Right. And he's out today. How did he get out? Elaborate on the situation. How did he get uh, out? So, so he, he had him. been the whole time he had been in the penitentiary, he had been um solid. He had been he wasn't solid. No, he was solid. He, he was no 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 no. Oh he, he was he had been Turns out he had been rocking with them for a long time. Okay. Uh, I mean, you got to do a lot of talking to them. Yeah. And it ain't no disrespect, but uh, uh, this is allegedly. Let me allegedly. say that. Allegedly, this is what happened. You right. know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, if if anybody's been following the story, Birdman, you know, ain't repping him, ain't claiming him as a brother, and you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, you know, it's, it's definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, so if you don't know the story of Tuki... What's the, it's, 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 what is his name? It's not Tukey. Who? What are we talking about? Berman. What's his name? Uh, Gangsta Williams. Gangsta Williams. He supposedly told off the dead. Yeah, he yeah, he did tell on the dead. And then it was this whole controversy of T.I. And the Boosie did an interview with Vlad TV said, I, I can't, and he's a snitch if you turn on the dead. Like, okay. How do you? Well, we no, that's that, and then that's nah, a whole then, nah, then T.I. and then T.I. was on his some, expedition. On yeah, I'm talking about right? he told on his dead cousin. His dead cousin told him to tell on him. But turned out, that, turned out that it, it was a fake story. So they cool now. You know that, right? Yeah, I heard. I heard that they, uh, oh, <laughs> I heard that they, now that's my nigga Cam. It, shout out to motherfucking DJ Cam. Not, not DJ Cam. Oh, shout out to everybody wrong. Shout out to DJ Cam, though. Ah, 
<laughs> but that's the story about Gangsta Williams, though. Do your research. He's on Vlad TV. Just type in Gangsta Williams. He's Birdman's help brother. Hell yeah. He did. He's a, he's a real stepper. I thought about getting Charleston White. I might walk off this set. I'm, like, I'm for real. If we get Charleston I mean, White, we definitely, that's a, definitely it's, a good investment. It's, it's something, that's definitely a good investment. Yeah. It's something that, you know, it ain't, it's not a game, dog. We it, get Charleston you White. Go we gonna bring Charleston White down here for an interview. Then we are gonna get him a comedy show. Sell I out. swear, I swear. I'm working on a couple. I'm I'm working on a couple. A couple of Instagram people. I'm telling you, man. Look, so it's going It's only the beginning, man. I got this, ideas, this. y'all. And I ain't. That's the only two I'm gonna give you. I got other shit. I got other people. I got other people that. I mean, you got to think, man. It, it's all about. It's it's about who you know. Sometimes, and not only who you know. It's yeah. about you know. It's it's about that paper. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you willing and to spend for your, everywhere, so we have an easy. And if you were if, yeah. willing to spend what you need to spend to get where you need to get to, then you need to, you know, it is what it is. And if it ain't, if it's a failed investment, at least I go viral off of something. Somebody right. say shit at least one time. Shit. But no, <laughs> but if you love doing it, eventually you're gonna make all this back, and it's gonna be free. And it ain't even fun of money, because mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. You, I didn't put all this shit but in. That's what comes with it. Yeah. These days, you yeah. gonna, you gonna get all this stuff. You gonna get it back. Yeah. Like when I first got my camera, when nobody fucking look cold. Me. What's happening? Shout out to Cole, my birthday twin, October twelfth, Libra. That's the wrong look cold. Not a plan. <laughs> God <laughs> damn, you I didn't shot the wrong cold out again. Nah, 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 just fucking with you. <laughs> he funny. been shouting out the wrong people all day, but not the wrong people. Shout but. To Cole. Bro, it's it's why I got you. I guess what I want to say before we got rid. Cole, can you go out of town for your birthday? Because I had a city to myself. <laughs> Hey, I'm steady. <laughs> we to throw the party together. Uh, Everybody every goes birthday bash. You, hey, nobody you goes to see my party. On, <laughs> I, you nah, know, we, my birthday's right there too. Yeah, we so, party together. Uh, so I need to do it. We was at just, the Africans. Man, shout pray for Cole. Shout to Cole. I love what he's doing with his daughters, his family. You man. know what I'm saying? Everything that's going on with him right now. Just he's a good dude. Yeah, man. He don't say too dog. much. And you know what I'm saying? The thing I ha- I hate, like when Cole, when Cole was going through their little stuff, they would be like, Cole's just like, it's this man's last name. Put some respect on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Don't, you know what I'm saying? Because dude's a good dude. It's a lot go along with this party stuff. People don't know about it. It's a headache. You know what sure the fuck it's, it is. It's a legacy. I used to, I used to like, like when they used to do that shit, like, man, y'all saying this man's last name. Put some that respect shit, on that, it. That shit, dude. You know, it would be dry for about mm-hmm. almost a month, two months. And mm-hmm. then everybody would kind of gradually start coming back. And yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then it'd be sold out. And they would talk all that shit. But see, it was out. like people get shot everywhere. Remember somebody got shot in Jim Porter's? Right. It's, uh, uh, somebody got somebody shot at uh, Phoenix Hill. Phoenix Hill. Motherfucker. What's that look? Uh, Rainbow Club. No worse. Beat the death by security. Come on, man. Stuff happens everywhere. It don't just happen in our community. Shit, do not. Yeah, I swear to God. Yeah, I gotta remember that shit. For real. I gotta remember that shit. Man, I ain't look, I got a segment though, man, where I talk about all kind of shit, man. I do all kind of shit and I got it all set up for today, but we ain't gonna use it today. You know it's what? been an awkward Sunday. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Pops it's up, been an awkward ass Sunday. Man, thank you to uh shout out to Moffitt for coming through, mm-hmm. fucking with us. You feel mm-hmm. me? This this might be on the lost episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lost episode. Rock, you gotta what, save it for the DVD. What the what you said? <laughs> what you said? What you said? We gonna get it together though. Everything. Yeah, everything straight, man. So shout out to everybody in the building right now, man, and that's everybody that came through and looked at us, man. This is part two of episode twelve. We definitely uh, had a good time with y'all, man. Me and my friend in the building, man. Shout out to uh, Sheeta. Shout out to uh, Rome. Shout we got to We got to have Sheeta just standing up the whole time. <laughs> so, so she can get our views up. Man, she ain't. She ain't going to. She going to stand up and then she going to be gone. Man. Got, like, <laughs> nah, this plan's my dog. Man, she got emergency right now, man. Right, but shout out to Rashida, man. Shout out to Rashida. Uh, but we out the building, man. Uh, make sure y'all uh, tune in next week, man. We definitely going to... Um, Start going hard. Uh, I actually have this award sitting there because I want to touch on that uh, award. The the Kentucky Urban Awards are coming up June first. Right. Nominations start June first. That means June first. Look, June first. So that so, means everybody get a chance to nominate somebody. Yes. So come come the next month. Don't say you not nominated because you had a chance 
to nominate your person. You know what? They should yeah, let us vote. They vote. should let us vote. Do vote for Trap Talk. First of all, verbal Trap Talk podcast. Since y'all watching and we standing on our vote for Trap Talk podcast. And I, and I might be nominated for photographer. Yeah, I don't and, care. Yeah, Bobby Car. They retired Bobby Car, so I can't show Bobby Car this year. It don't matter. My Shout out Bobby Car. And I, I don't know if I might. I may make the hype man, but I doubt it. You know. And, it, and if I do, I ain't gonna win. So I yeah. feel like AP. Uh, Slick EB should let us host the awards. That'd be fun. Concert. That'd be fun. We put our bid in right now. Put, uh, yeah. Y'all heard what he said, we, man. Uh, yeah, y'all heard AP. Slick <laughs> EB let us host the awards nomination. Hell yeah, man. Put that out there. Hell yeah. <laughs> But anyway, man, so we out this bitch, man. Um, thank you for tuning in, man. We yeah, we'll see yeah. you here at the same place, same time next week, man. Come back and visit. We out. Peace. <laughs>